Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and unboxing the Vask Grand Traverse Performance Hiking Shoe from a company called Vask. Everybody knows about Vask, they make great shoes. So here's the box right here, Vask. And what's really cool about the box, you know, I mean it's a box, right? But 100% recycled, so that's really cool. This is the Grand Traverse. There's the, the, the Grand Traverse hiking shoe. So let's get them out of the box and I'll show you what you got. Okay, so here's the Grand Traverse right here. Now this is the um, Beluga Dewberry color. Uh, it does come in two different colors. Uh, as I said, this is Beluga Dewberry and it also comes in aluminum and hot coral. This is a 1.8 millimeter suede leather upper combined with a PU overmolded mesh on the outside here. And you see it all in here. And for those of you who don't know, PU, it's not stinky. PU is actually a synthetic leather. So let's talk about the lacing system. So as you can tell here, the lacing system goes almost all the way down to the toe box and you have an active heel strap. So while this is gonna make it really easy to pull it onto your heel when you're getting it on, how the laces go all the way to the toes is really gonna minimize um, toe sliding inside the toe box as well as make the shoe a lot more comfortable on the foot and way more secure so there's no more sliding around uh, which is where you'll develop blisters. The midsole has a molded EVA foam cushioning layer between the outsole and the footbed. It also has a wicking liner on the inside so it's going to wick away the moisture from your feet and push it to the outside of the shoe so the air can dry it and keeping your feet a lot drier and less prone to blisters. All right, so the outsole is a Vibram Ibex outsole and it's made of two rubber compounds, Idro Grip and mega grip. All right, so the idro grip is this on the outsole right here. And this particular compound of rubber is inspired from free climbers. They want to make that rubber really, really sticky, especially on dry compounds, but also good for wet. So the mega grip compound is all these little cleats that you see here. And you notice that they're all going in separate, um, separate directions. And there's reason for that. So on the inside here, these few rows right here on the inside all the way to the side here these are for traction the bottom ones here these are for braking so they're gonna really improve especially when your heel your heels down and you're going downhill they're really gonna help you slow down and then you have the outer ones here and the outer ones are strictly for stability you know especially if you're going over uneven terrain like really rocky terrain it's gonna really help you keep your balance and keep you stable on the trail all right let's talk about the insole so here it is right here and this is a pour on foam strobel insole and what this is going to do is it's going to provide all day comfort the foam conforms to your foot and it makes it really comfortable it's basically it's not memory foam but it's pretty close i mean just pushing on it and i don't know if you can see that it's pretty well cushioned and very dense especially in the heel it also has this wicking liner and what that's going to do is it's going to wick moisture away from the um the actual insole and put it towards the outside of the shoe to where the air is gonna dry it. And it, as you can tell, it also has all these little vent holes too. So it's definitely gonna keep the inside of your shoes a lot drier and a lot more airy. Another cool feature that I really like is that on the front side here, right on the outside of the toe, there's this basically bash guard. And this is pretty, pretty tough. It's gonna really keep your toes protected for one, but more importantly, it's gonna make the boot or shoe, in this case, last a lot longer because that's where you're gonna be bumping into rocks or what have you, you know, roots and that kind of stuff. So great protection, but it's also gonna make your shoes last longer and look better for longer. So a shoe like this is great for all season hiking, backpacking, canyoneering, skateboarding, and mountain biking. But keep in mind, if you're mountain biking with a shoe like this, you wanna make sure that you're using flat pedals because it is not SPD pedal compliant, nor does it have anywhere to put uh, pedal cleats. The shoe does retail for about $130, so while it does carry the Vask name, it does also carry the Vask price tag, but you also get what you pay for. Vask is a great company. They've been around for a long time and they make quality stuff. So if you're looking for a great pair of shoes, I would always start by looking at Vask. All right, keep in mind that this shoe is not waterproof. So it does not have a Gore-Tex liner or anything like that. Vask does make a full line of Gore-Tex waterproof shoes, boots, and, and what have you. So if you're looking for something waterproof, this shoe is not. But Great shoe nonetheless, especially if you're going in, in, in some areas where you know it's gonna be dry and you're not worried about getting them wet. All right, so that's my review of the Vask Women's Performance Hiking Shoe. This is the Grand Traverse, and it's available in Beluga Dewberry and Aluminum and Hot Coral in the colors. So, as I said, this is the Beluga Dewberry color. The other one is uh, kind of like a beige-orange color. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in my comment section and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. If you liked this review and found it informative and you want to buy a pair of these for yourself um, or as a gift, click the link down in the description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Also, if you could please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks very much for tuning into TrailerMountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Thanks again, guys. Get outdoors.